says, why do I have to get a new dildo for everybody I sleep with? Yeah. Right, right. They you don't the ask same no dudes to get a new dick. To get a new dick or could they shave yeah. some skin off? You don't ask none of that. So Yeah, wh- but you put that dildo in somebody else's <laughs> vagina. But they put their dick in somebody else's vagina. How well yeah, do you I mean, clean your toys? Oh, I clean it. You know, uh, <laughs> I make sure I wash it before I put it in the washing machine. Uh, <laughs> oh, you can put it in the I washing the machine? Dish- no, you're not supposed oh. to. But, yeah. What's up, what's up? It's Lip Service. I'm Angela Yee. I'm Stephanie Santiago. I'm L'Oreal. And we have two extremely funny, talented guests that we're very excited excited for today. I'm Ida Rodriguez. And I am Shantae Wayans. Yes, and you guys can see both of them on Tiffany Haddish Presents. They ready. And they are so funny on there. Hilarious. (laughs) Yes. So we're going to start off with this question, and I want to learn a lot about everybody here from how you answer this, okay? Mm -hmm. You have a choice, and there's no in-between choice. So if you had a choice between having sex right away, the first night you meet somebody, or not until after marriage, which one do you choose? Right away. <laughs> I don't want any bad. I don't want to hear. I don't want to be disappointed and I don't want to show disappointment to somebody because it's always written all over my face. Absolutely. So if you got some bad, can I say dick? Yeah. If you got some bad Please. dick. We encourage it. And you will see it on my face. What's I got bad, a, bad, a bad dick face. What's bad dick? Uh, for me, like I have my own standards and my own, you know, like my own. I'm Puerto Rican and Dominican, and I, it's some weird shit that happens in me. So I <laughs> when, I, when I was younger, my mom was told me one time, she's like, one day you're going to wake up and you're going to realize you're a freak. Just know you got it honest. And I was like, my mom is <laughs> How old were you? I was like 12. I was like, oh, no. <laughs> Preparing you for the future. That's a great grandma right there. Mm-hmm. And you never forgot it to this day. No. Right. All right. I was traumatized. <laughs> All right. So, Shantae, right away or yeah. not until after? Yeah. Yeah, the, that's no question. Right away, you know. Okay. What I mean? Yeah, right away. What did your grandmother tell you? <laughs> <laughs> My grandma, when I came out the closet, she was like, "Baby, it's okay." Uh, you know, when I was younger, I had this girl Ethel, and I was like, "All right, I want to hear." Ethel, that. oh, no. <laughs> that's an <laughs> older person's name. <laughs> yeah, she was getting down back in the day, but no, I, I feel like right away nowadays, I need to know now. Mm-hmm. And I think sex is a big important thing in a relationship and stuff like that. So if you bomb, it's gonna make me like you more mm-hmm. immediately. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So L'Oreal, right away or not until after marriage? You- a- after marriage. Liar. I'm only picking it because I I don't want to pick what everybody else picks. Don't do that. You know what I'm Fuck picking? Right away. <laughs> <laughs> no, because this is the thing. There's no way that I I want to be miserable for the rest of my life, and I don't want to get a divorce like right away. So after- not having great sex will make you miserable. Mm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes. Or a cheater. One or the other. Yeah. That's yeah. the mm-hmm. ends to a relationship. Bad <laughs> sex. And I got to deal with a headache. Yeah. And if he broke too, that's even worse. <laughs> oh, oh my God. <laughs> what the dudes. fuck are we here for? <laughs> we broke back <laughs> dick. Broke dudes usually always have uh, some good sex. And I'm yeah. only saying that because I used to be broke. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I do not always say that. Bro, yeah. Guys, yeah. They Angela fuck because they need a roof over their head. Uh, amen. Mm-hmm. 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 I'll right. take mediocre sex then. As well. <laughs> Stephanie. I would. I'm right right away, saying bro. right away. And I've had good experiences with having sex soon. Like, it's a big stigma. Like, oh, he's not going to talk to you anymore. One of my longest relationships, we had sex a couple hours after we met. Hey. hey. And we were together for a long ass time. Right. So. That's that connection. You know, so, like, imagine marrying somebody and then they have a little dick. Yeah. Yeah. I, when I, I said you couldn't see the dick. The dick. Yeah, but you or said who gets it doesn't get hard now. Who gets married and how long are we waiting to get married? Because then you're going to make me have to marry Fantasia you next got month. married after three weeks. Yeah. You silly as hell. Shantae and I were having this discussion downstairs, right, about sex toys. Oh, man. And she says, why do I have to get a new dildo for everybody I sleep with? Yeah. Right, right. They you don't the ask same no dudes to get a new dick. To get a new dick, or could they shave <laughs> yeah. some skin off? You don't ask none of that. So yeah, wh- but you put that dildo in somebody else's. <laughs> but vagina. they put their dick in somebody else's vagina. How well yeah, do you I mean, clean your toys? Oh, I clean it. You know, uh, <laughs> I make sure I wash it before I put it in the washing machine. Uh, <laughs> oh, you can put it in the I washing the machine. Dish- no, you're not supposed oh. to. Put it. Stuff. Well, but I'm cleaning it like really <laughs> clean it off it's like imagine you know, the sound it would be making in the washing machine you know, <laughs> <laughs> you be a bunch penetrating of, your dishes <laughs> bunch of I'm new to sex toys so oh, I would have no. I would have fucked around went home and threw that shit in the dishwasher <laughs> 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 you, you can't leave the residue on there 
You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You definitely got to clean it. But uh, Yeah, you can't. You don't want schmegma. <laughs> you know what? I love you. Because there's not a lot of people that know that word, schmegma. <laughs> what does that I mean? I still don't know it. She's like dick cheese. Yeah, she does oh, say it all the time. Lord. Lord. What, but what do you... Dick cheese. Like you know, I was just talking to <laughs> Tiffany. Dick and she was telling me about somebody who has dick cheese in Hollywood. <laughs> Why would she tell me that right before I walk? I just want to blurt out the name and say, Hey, I'm that dirty schmegma dick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dick cheese is disgusting. Usually, it's guys who aren't circumcised. Mm-hmm. I'm sitting here like, because yeah. really, you know. got to roll the All turtleneck back to are clean circumcised. It. Yeah, that's. Oh, I, I never seen that. It would be funny for somebody to make a dildo with it. Thank you. Let me find one. This and you got to roll no. them. <laughs> that's I too much time. I want to be a dude, Evan. That, <laughs> that, that, that makes me understand why you're a lesbian when you start thinking about It's disgusting. The, dudes are fucking nasty. I mean, shit. women are nasty Phenomena. too, but you know. Oh, yeah. There's yeah. cottage yeah. cheese yeah. experiences. Yeah. I'm sure. I'm sure. That's what Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, what's that concern? Sense is about this using the same toy on multiple women because that is true. Because if you were, say, a guy pulled out a toy on me and it was unwrapped and mm-hmm. clearly had been used, I'll be like, uh, What the fuck? No, that's disgusting. <laughs> but she can't buy a new toy every time she has sex. Yeah, like, what, what if, if I- I'm a hoe and, <laughs> and I got like everybody. five girlfriends and, or, and I want to, to use it? You know how much dil- a good dildo runs you over a hundred, hundred and like twenty dollars. Well, you ain't got to pay for condoms, so. Condoms are cost only ten dollars. <laughs> or like, if, if you keep buying them, if you're fucking at- five girls, you got to write their name on the dildo. Yeah, they should have their own <laughs> like pouch. The plastic cup That's when you go to a, family. Because nah. then, <laughs> then, this is Melanie's. Well, this back is in the Lee, day, I wouldn't Tasha. have the rent then. So it's either a new dildo or you gonna rent. get this money towards a bill. But so yeah. it, it feels like you, you. It probably women feel like you had a, an experience with that dildo with that person. Let mm-hmm. me tell you and something. Y'all emotions get on my damn. Well, you it's the connection between something that's then you not should real. Fuck dudes, then so you won't get no. emotional. Now, you, they you gotta, emotional too. You got to tell them BYOD. Bring your own that's dick. what I was. I swear, <laughs> Gloria, you just took the thought right from my head. Like they should just, if they want on their own, they should bring their own. Bring your own, you heard? Yeah, yeah. I like that. Yeah. I like that idea. I'm Come start. over, bring your dick with you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you unless you want to use the shared one. Yo, that's, that's so a cool. great solution. I Everybody should have your own dick okay. and bring it with you. Yeah. yeah, but I also think like a strap on you shouldn't have to replace. I feel like if it's like a little vibrator, because strap ons cost way more. What's the one that we gave? Who do we give that to? Gigi, Stephanie. Oh, no, Gigi. not me. Okay. It, that look expensive. <laughs> that shit looked like it cost a couple dollars. Like that shit wasn't cheap. It was a strap, right? A it strap had to on? get the strap. It yeah. had different dicks. It yeah. had like four sizes. That brings a new meaning to that term. I mean, yeah. I mean, it's a strap. Yeah, it's a strap. I bought. I just recently bought a penis, and I got a gay dude was the customer service rep, and he made me get one of them soft dildos, mm. like them. You know when dudes aren't fully up, um, and they got like. I was like, why? why? The fuck? why? He said. He was like, trust me, honey, it's amazing. And I was like, this don't seem... For the butt. Like we on the same... Yeah, why were you motioning like you were putting it in your butt just now? No, I was doing this. I was like oh, squeezing okay. it to make it harder because it was super soft. So I was like, you know how... Trying how to give you the you, visual. Why did you Does it get hard? A gay so man did... talking into that. I mean, I don't know. Because the the one I picked out, I, I just got like the big one. And mm-hmm. then she ran out the store and I was like, well, maybe ladies don't like big penises. Yeah, I think it's dip- not too big. Like some dildos are big? huge. The kind that'll ruin you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that'll fuck you up for the rest the of your days yeah, you when that shit don't work out. Pussy. Yeah, that pussy got to laugh. Uh-huh. Yeah. They used to, I'm from the South, so they they have that term. She, uh, he's ruined. And that he's means ruined. his dick is too big that he will. <laughs> Women that give you don't have to put the whole thing in. You don't have to put the whole thing in. It's the UTI dick. But you're not going to, what you going to buy the whole thing if you're only going to put a little bit of it in? Because then somebody might want half of it in and somebody might want the whole thing. You can't See, use that's the, the dick, dick that you got to pee right after. <laughs> yeah. You already established this. <laughs> you know that. You got to pee right after. Part of your new, okay? <laughs> you got to pee after and then you go to pee and it look like your vagina's inside out. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? You don't want that. No, I'm big with that. That has never <laughs> happened. <laughs> I'm scared. I hope that never what? happens in life. Oh my god! I love oh, when he looked around the whole room. I like when that is swollen. It's pulsating. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that happens. It to got me. a heartbeat. <laughs> All right, wow. now we need some advice from you, ladies, because we're about to go on tour. Okay. Right, lip service, and you guys are always in the clubs on mm-hmm. tour working. Can you fuck with people you meet on the road? And do you? Yes. <sighs> 
I I have, um, but but I, I'm a relationship type person, so I get mm-hmm. in relationships a lot, and uh, and so depending on what kind of chick, I don't want the chick to look like a like feel like a hoe, mm-hmm. even if she is, <laughs> if that makes sense. And I think especially being around my family, I've just seen certain things happen that I'm like, oh, I don't know. I, I love that you said I'm a relationship mm-hmm. person. I get in relationships a lot. <laughs> no, well, I, I know, it's, but what I meant is like it's, Many it's always like long. No, no, no. I like monogamy, um, mm-hmm. but I also like fun. I like if mm-hmm. I can find a chick that is like you know every now. Don't look over there when I say that. It's like Uh-oh. if every now and again you want to have fun and you know what I'm saying, do that. Then I will be more into the relationship. What about fun. moving in with any of these women? Oh, I I mean, I do it all. I like being <laughs> I home. I do it all. I yeah, like she, being home. She I like confused being... my kids when they were little because they were like, we, we every time I would take them to see Shantae and be another bitch in the house, so we'd be mm. like, who is that? That's the other okay, auntie. Relationship. Yeah. Yeah. I, I am though now because uh, y'all are fucking crazy. Man. Well, you know what's funny? I, figure, I figured out now why you are a lesbian. Wow. So you could be a hoe without getting called a hoe. Hey. Hey. No, because you were just like, because I like a chick and, and, and I'm like, titties bigger than mine. And you over there talking about, I like a chick <laughs> who ain't who don't really feel like a hoe. Yeah, you're like, what what if I'm fucking five chicks at the same time? But, but uh, why I'm not you eating everybody pussy? Why you that male double standard? I'm not eating everybody pussy. No, I'm saying this comes from the chick that I usually mess with. A lot of chicks will be like, you know, I know what type of limelight you in and all that stuff. And, you know. If we go out and we find somebody we attracted to, let's let's get it on. So y'all both hoes. Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> hoes together though. <laughs> now what about you, Ida, being on the road? I'm sure guys holler at you. I will I don't believe you know what's funny is the reality is different. Shantae is out on the road dating women. Men are toxic and dangerous. <laughs> oh, shit. So when and not all the all the men, but I gotta worry about getting raped, yeah, beat, yeah. beat upside the head, robbed, mm-hmm. like I can't go out yeah, on the chopped road. Up. Yeah, it's not the same thing for. Uh, for uh, yes, it is. No, for you. Bitches is crazy. Like, because no, I'm, I'm crazy. Have, uh, yeah. And you yeah. crazy. <laughs> so but I will chop you up. My boy. Yeah. <laughs> not chopping up, but you might. Like, they go, they do something wrong. But it like, doesn't matter how mm. crazy you are. There is no male comedian. Corey right, Holcomb right, ain't right. worried about you. Right, he would right. just laugh. He'd be like, right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right, he would right, be right, like, right. yeah. He would be like, yeah, the, cra- the bitch is crazy. I right. just changed my room right. on her. You know what I mean? Right, right, right. They don't worry about their safety. Like, we got to worry about getting raped, robbed, mm-hmm. like assassin murdered. Like right. I was I was on the road in Texas and they had a flyer on the counter and the girl in the in at the front desk gave the dude my hotel room because she was trying to get him up off of her. And he started banging on my door wow. asking me. Wow. Yeah, he was a farm league baseball player trying to get in my room. And wow. I was like, I don't know you. I had to call the police. But I'm sure there's a male comic would be like, yeah, she came in. I let her suck my dick and I sent her home. That's not the reality right. for mm-hmm. And then they And then they got to worry about some charges against them. Yes. Right. That's would it what be guys good, though? Like, let's, let's, yeah. <laughs> please, please. Dreams. You're like, like oh, fuck welcome. it. Just come Room service? First of all, was that in Odessa? They do, huh? Was that in Odessa, Texas? In, it was in Corpus Christi. Mm-hmm. So so let me tell you this. This is how shady females are. I went to Odessa to do a show, and this chick, beautiful, was at the show with like four of the dudes. Come to find out, like they came to the hotel, they was like talking about weed, you want weed, blah, blah, blah. And they was like, yo, she really like you. But they were pushing her up on me. So they were like, yo, we're going to leave and come back to get her. Mm-hmm. Them motherfuckers waited in the hallway, but they were waiting for me to take her to the room. So they could get so you. So they can wow. get me. But and then again, line you up. So, that was so men, though. That right, was right, right. But the girl was still down to do it. Mm-hmm. She was using her shit to, to get that going. She so what'd you do? Uh, you know what's crazy? By the grace of God, uh, somebody, somebody came to get before I got too faded. I was like, yo, please don't let me go to the hotel with them. Uh, mm-hmm. Like, go to my room by myself. They wound up bringing me to my room, and I left that night to go stay somewhere else. Oh, good. She's paranoid, too. So the good thing about her is oh, that yeah. she's always like, she thinks everybody out together. Yeah. So <laughs> that keeps her safe Keep on the road. She's so paranoid. Safe. She worried about you right now. She yeah. think you plotting on her. Because oh, that's no, 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 she's so good. <laughs> like, I'm like, I'm like, who that ashy right. girl in here? Right. Yeah, yeah. You said you wasn't going to mention my ashy oh, name. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking bitch. <laughs> so you can't trust bitches. I told you. It's a mess cow. <laughs> she got a chicken mezcal. <laughs> so you never had a one night stand, Ida? No, 
I have never had a one night stand. Um, you know what? I'm yeah. I'm also relationshipy. You know that? You like are. I'm always like in some long ass in stress. It'd be like, oh, you like out. me? We married now. Yeah. Right, right, right. <laughs> so I'm like, that's what... it's horrible. Is that no? I've never had a one night stand, and every time I hype myself up, like I'm gonna go. It sounds like a fun idea in yeah. theory. Yeah, no. I think you just gotta get that. I don't know. Mm-mm. I don't know. Cause I've seen I've seen you flirt once, once in our entire friendship. I've seen you flirt, and I was like, "Ooh, Ida, go Ooh, get you that." Some dude, uh, we was uh, we were out at a comedy spot, and you like walked up, and you was like rubbing, like you you thought he was cute, uh, and I was shit. like, okay. <laughs> "Really? You walking in the man, yo shit? Go yeah. get that." Yeah, yeah I didn't do anything. I was you probably just, drunk, or so I had to have some courage. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we just get you some Molly or something, and you know, yeah. let's go have fun. <laughs> no, no, I don't yeah, do. I did such up. a. She's like, no, <laughs> no drugs. Right, 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 right. You, I come from a family of drug addicts. I'm really? scared. Like, if I if I do one drug one time, I'm gonna be selling my ass on the corner. <laughs> hey, 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 right now, I swear to God, I'll go from here to Pookie in 24 hours. I know, but that's good to be extra cautious because you could go the other way. You know, some people. Come from a family of drug addicts, and you say, "Okay, I'll never do that." And some people are like, "Fall right into it." Oh yeah, it. no, I have relatives who still my generation who did. I'm scared of drugs, like no, like I'm a good. little kid, like the dog gonna come get me. What's the officer McGraw? <laughs> <laughs> the deer dog say the no to drugs. Yeah. <laughs> now, have you ever dated someone just for a meal? <laughs> yeah, I ain't gonna lie. For, but like how long was the date nice how many meals you needed Look, no it's not just for the meal remember I was homeless at one yeah, point yeah, I yeah. went on a lot of dinner dates yeah. <laughs> especially when you go from eating a snackable to crustaceans yeah, well, I'd be yeah, like yeah. hey you, where you what you want you right, want to right, right. <laughs> problem <laughs> call me yeah, yeah sure <laughs> you want to go now it's 11am <laughs> <Right. laughs> I, I went through a real bitter phase when I broke up with my ex and our ex used to play football right mm-hmm. play professional football so they're they're put all this pressure on women who date athletes mm. because then they start counting if you date another athlete right mm-hmm. but nobody counts if how many bitches you met that got or, implants or whatever the exchange <laughs> you know the other, or the other side right you know what i'm saying so i went on this phase where i was like fuck the dumb shit was my mantra i'm gonna yeah. do what i want to do and i started going on i went on I went on dates with eight NBA players. Wow. Um, but what happens was it ends up being a dinner date because when it's time to smash, I'm out. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> so I'm like, yeah. once they, they'll feed you, you the they get you out. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I was like, I'm, I'm not interested in that. And then they move on. Wow. Well, that's my specialty too. I go out on dates with a guy and then we'll end up in the club. I'll be like, oh, I got to go to the bathroom. Yeah. And leave. And be out. <laughs> oh, yes. This one, that's my specialty. That's the problem. too because they're not going to really go really hard. <laughs> this is right? the problem. They'll take you on a date if it's easy, therefore it. Yeah, because it's too much work. And then after you having drinks and they think, okay, now we're in the car, we're going back to my place. Nope, I'm in my own car. Mm. Nah, but it's good you leave them in the club because then they can find. Yeah, now you can find something else. Exactly. I left you with some options. Yes, yes. Yes. First, was gonna say hell. (laughs) (laughs) First, (laughs) you. The problem with women is y'all. I think, and I'm saying y'all because I don't do that per se, but um, y'all know what turns men on or studs so y'all play a game and you know you can get your drinks you know you can go mm-hmm. to crustaceans <laughs> you know you can do all this stuff so the the excitement about wanting to fuck y'all is because y'all lead that on sometimes that doesn't mean we have to fuck you or you know rape and stuff like that but i'm saying like there's a y'all lead people on and you know got well now hold on buying somebody a drink somebody bought me a drink the other day mm-hmm. and would not go away <sighs> i was so annoyed but he was like, yo, let me get you a drink. As soon as I walked in, he's like, let me get you a drink. I was like, all right, got a drink. And when I tell you, I'm like, come on now. Just because you bought me a drink does not mean no, no, no. we can't we go together. I'm, I'm t- yeah. No, I'm yeah, talking yeah. about, hey, can I get you a drink? We have a cool little conversation. You mm-hmm. uh, twerking on me and stuff like that. <laughs> Everything's cool. You want another drink? Hell yeah, I want another drink. <laughs> and we doing all this. And at the end of the night, I'm like, hey, where is, where is she that was twerking on me? Because <laughs> <laughs> I'll stay with the same chick all night if we, we having fun. 
Yeah, but I don't even, when I go out on a dinner date with a guy, like if an NBA player, please, I've done it so many times, like go out with them. It's a group of people. You know, everybody's everybody's at the in the back room and then you go to the club. This nigga going to get somebody else. Right. I, I ain't twerking on you. I ain't you twerking be mad on you. Either. Turn it around. Like, like, I ain't leading you on. You know what though. time the it was smile, with me, baby. I ain't doing no the cardio smiles, for no <laughs> drink. I can afford to buy <laughs> myself. No. no. It, it could be something as simple as, and, and let me just use, act like your hand is like a leg, but it could be something as simple as you just doing something like that to 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 somebody. I, I, I like, am a little touchy. Some people are touchy, <laughs> but that is turning somebody on, and that gives them. No, that okay, them, somebody doing that to me is not turning me on. You're I'm that's, a, that's you what a, the, I'm you, telling you. She, what, 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 you talking from the, the man no, perspective? <laughs> you are right? right? yeah, yeah, like, He's like, like a bitch I touched my leg. I'm fucking at night. No, no, no. It's a certain touch you give. You came in there with your small dress on, smiling. You come in. You you make somebody feel. You hear this on Law and Order every week. It's yeah. like, what do, did do. you do to cause your own rape? <laughs> oh, I winked at the motherfucker. Hey, fellas, if y'all out there, yeah. that Just is common on this shit. I need y'all help because I'm being attacked. No, no, no. I get blame. what you're saying, though. Like, a, the certain way that you act, if you right. just like, ha, 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 yeah. then they like, oh, yeah, this bitch going to yeah. let me fuck. She about to suck my dick. Okay, now hold on. So, but people do go to the club just to flirt and have a good time. I make it my business not to touch somebody. Dude, no, I don't. When you get the go to the club they to try back. to find some ass. But no, but then. And it's a set. It's, no, listen, nobody here is that 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 level of simple. I know what you're talking about, but that ain't here. But you don't understand what's anymore. Saying. I think I know. <laughs> that's right. No, no, no. <laughs> but you're listen. You're a beautiful girl, right? Oh, so sweet. if I see you in a club, I'm already going like she bad. I might not have to have sex with you tonight, but I think you bad. But then when you come over and I get you to drink, and now we talking and you giggling and you touching me a certain way, and mm. then you twerk on me, and now it's like we had this relationship for two hours. And <laughs> And then you go, all right, peace, nigga. But that's it's the a, that's the that's the magic of it, and that's why rape mm. people who rape people think that's the mentality of people who rape. The reality no, of it is, man. is that the only consent you got for sex is consent for sex. I could I could flirt with you, I can wink. That ain't even I could, real anymore. That's the truth. Somebody though. say yes and then be no next week. You ask like, mystical you. if that ain't true anymore. <laughs> oh, he fell for it twice. Right, right. That, I'm trying to tell you, it's not. You can't just. Assume that somebody's down the fuck just because they smiling with you or dancing with you at the club. I, I think or at you least, so. You're saying you at least want to get the phone number and some follow up. Yeah, just it's it. Yeah. What I'm you just have to be careful. Like, don't just uh, go ghost on me. Bye. It, like, we vibing. I think you like me. Dumb. Y'all know what the fuck I'm talking about. I'm not gonna. But have you this can't put that responsibility on women. It's not a res. It's, I'm just saying you know what you're doing sometimes. That doesn't... It's like a leading on mean, kind of thing yes, is what you're saying. It doesn't mean you have to give them pussy. But how dare you say you go into the bathroom and fucking walk out... Stephanie. After we had this amazing... I've, I've done it dinner is many different. times. And they call me back like, yo, you okay? And I'll be like, oh, I'm on my way home. And they be like, oh, all right, I'll hit you tomorrow. Listen, See, me, like, I always yeah, spend okay. like, I ain't feel good. I was real drunk, uh, so I had to leave. I'm yeah, driving exactly. the getaway car. Yeah. 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 I'm like, y'all here at Stephanie? Hurry up, let's go. Let me tell you, when I, I was in uh, <laughs> Miami, on I went to a club on, on the beach. I went to Cameo, and this basketball player that, that I'm not going to say his name, used to play for Detroit. We we had a good time, right? We were having fun, whatever. And then I, I was like, okay, I'm going to the bathroom, right? I go to the bathroom to really go to the bathroom. <laughs> and when I go to the bathroom, he sent one of his boys in the bathroom yeah. to like track me. To mon- that Make motherfucker sure went inside ain't... the bathroom. He want to protect that investment. He that so I get jail now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I stood up. His boy. <laughs> I stood, That's weird. I sat, um, stood up on the toilet seat so he couldn't see my feet. He went, he swept the Damn. thing. Look, and I was like, I ain't going nowhere with it's like them. Like an episode of Power. Yeah. Right. Uh-huh. <laughs> they, they, I was they like, scamming. Yeah, yeah, I was like, this, funny. this is this, this ain't diff- normal. Yeah, yeah. They was trying to get you. That they was, was both con- trying that to get was you. That is so control. crazy. Who does that? It was his boy, and he sent him in there, and I hid. And by the then I I, I went I, I dipped out and went. I'm from Miami. I'm the last person you want to do that. I right. know some of the raggediest people on the. You right. know, I call them boys, and they will rob you. Right. Like I will right. set right. you up right. here. Right, 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 right. That's a weird theory. I, I think stuff like that is like doing too much. I'm just talking. I'm really just talking about how women know how to turn people on. Mm -hmm. And it's even straight women that come up to me after shows sometimes and they've never been with a chick. And they be like, you know what? There's something really nice about you. You want to go to the club? And then they do the same thing too, straight women. And they're not 
about that life. But you know what? You know, you you have celebrity and you have status. Dudes do that too, mm-hmm. right? Oh, go to the worst. Expect, I know they go. They, you know, every every dude I know thinks they gonna convert you back to straight. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. But um, <laughs> as long as I'm getting crustaceans, I'm <laughs> <laughs> I do the same I'm thing. <laughs> like I turn into a bitch <laughs> real quick. <laughs> Those garlic noodles <laughs> will make you twerk for some time. Mm, so good, so good. Yeah. Now, listen. They always say you know you're in love when you start acting crazy over somebody. Have you ever wanted to hire a private detective? Mm. I no. wanted to be the private detective. <laughs> yeah, I was like, the private detective. So you I mean, have done your own espionage. I have, but I I try not to live like that anymore. I don't. I feel like I'm not going through your stuff. Because when it's my time to catch you, I will. And and because I know how I am in relationships, if I do catch you, there's no really working it out. Because mm-hmm. this this is a game. We ain't have to live this life. Right. You could have been like, yo, let's do an open relationship or whatever it is. But we could have worked it out a while ago. But if I got to look in your stuff and find it, it's not worth it. Because now I really think you... Hoeing. Like you deleted messages. Oh, man. <laughs> Deleting messages. That's yeah. hoeing. I'm, yeah. No, what I'm saying is Sneaky. now that I found out right. months later or years later, now I'm like, well, what you been doing the whole... Yeah, I don't trust people that only have three messages on their phone. Right. Oh. No, no, you're doing something funny. I can see it. And yeah. I, you know, I, I I got two stigmatisms in my eyes. Got- so <laughs> I can see from one eye close and the other one far. But I was like, I saw you delete that message with my right eye. I saw it in me. But sometimes uh, I feel like people look at the message and they, they take it wrong. Because there's like conversations that I have in my phone where it's people that Never in a trillion years. Mm -hmm. But it's like, you know, it's a friendly conversation, but you might look at it and be like, what the fuck is going on here? Mm -hmm. But that person and I both don't feel that way. But if you're coming in with a jealous eye and you looking for something, that right eye, you'll find it. it You see, you know how you like something with the heart? (laughs) Yeah. On the, the thing, like, why the fuck are you hurting this shit? Da, da. Like, anything will but bother you. what did the message say? If it said, hey, beautiful, I'm thinking about you, uh... No. I want to tell How y'all this story. I was trying to tell Angela this story yesterday. Uh-uh. I, I have like a plug like for traveling or whatever. So I texted him yesterday and I was like, hey, <laughs> hey, I'm I'm traveling <laughs> tomorrow. Right. So uh, my phone rings. Make a long story short. First it was him and then it was a girl. So she's like, stay the fuck away from my fucking <laughs> husband. On oh, God, I only seen this man once in my life. Oh my God. I, our whole conversation is... <laughs> Message about travel, dates, time. is nothing the fuck in there. Stay away from my fucking husband. I'm not fucking playing with you. I said, miss, you got this shit all fucked up. You got the game wrong. And you fucking the money up right now. <laughs> so for he might be, he must be making her pay full price for her tickets. I don't like, know why. How did you resolve that? I, I hung the fuck up on her. That's Damn. not my fucking bitch. Dick Remember that happened that to me one time because of you. I was with her and remember. somebody broke into her car. Remember that? Yeah. And this guy I knew was a police officer. You don't remember this shit? So I call him, right? And it's late. It is late at night, but he's a police officer. And like, he'll hit me for any reason whatsoever. Mm -hmm. Can I get tickets to this? Can I get that? And so her car gets broken into. So I sent him a text message like, hey, (laughs) you know, if you have my friend's car just got broken into. We were like in the middle of Brooklyn. We was in a hood. Yeah. It was like two in the morning. And so it was taking forever for the police to come. So I was like, if there's anything you could do, his girl hit me. I guess they was out at some party or something. And she was like, don't be calling. And it clearly on the message is me just saying, hey, her car just got broken into. If you can help. And she just started going crazy on me. Bitches is nuts. Like, well, so they got all that bad DNA up in there. <laughs> but I'm like, yo, you could look and see. I ain't trying to talk to him or nothing. Like, we're having an emergency. My problem was like, nigga, where were you with the defense? Like, he wasn't yeah. even there. Like, hang up the phone. You're embarrassing me. I don't fuck with her like don't that. Know that. He was they like, quiet. Marriage? <laughs> what you gonna say? First of all, it's probably somebody in her life that used that same excuse mm-hmm. okay. and he was, was cheating. really cheating. Right. And yeah. You, and then you so scapegoat. nothing will go. You know, like, baby, it was a fire. I was trying to save the girl. <laughs> so she's experienced something traumatic like that. He'd probably be lying all the time uh, about yeah, everything. Yeah. True. Like, but you, keep it real. If you sometimes I feel like you know the girl that your dude might be, you like are kind of mm-hmm. already hit to like. Is he fucking with this bitch? I don't know. Sis, you ain't never seen me. Because if he was sitting next to me, us on this couch, 
I wouldn't even know what if it was what him. It like. you, oh, threw, God. you threw you threw her off the scent. Yeah, she threw me the fuck off. Yeah, but she <laughs> could, she's talking to you. I in felt the real... pussy when we hung up the phone. I was like, was I supposed to tell her, bitch, who the fuck you talking to? But I was so caught off guard. Like, I it's like call her back. Okay, I'll stay away from your fucking husband. That's, funny. <laughs> That's hilarious. I never wanted never to it. hire a private investigator. But I did want to hire an assassin. <laughs> that was the next question. Get it out. Uh, I dated somebody who cheated so much. We were all in the matrix. Like, he was cheating with four women. I can't even say he was cheating on me with three women because we don't know who we were. He ended up marrying one. And I'm, no, I, I saw damn. her not too long ago. But I looked at that pain on her face and I was like, thank mm, you, thank God. God. It's not me. I dodged a mm-hmm. bullet. She's mm-hmm. still yes. dealing what, with that shit. Do we really, and, and this is going to sound so messed up because I was watching this thing talking about monogamy. And when you say forever, mm-hmm. like forever mm-hmm. is a long time. If forever was just 15 years <laughs> and then the motherfucker died or something like that, damn. then you, Get to go on and you know find somebody else, but do you really believe in monogamy still to this day? I mean, I, I do. Mean, I think too. that it's once you lived your life, though. Mm-hmm. Like sometimes you get just tired of all the shit. It's just easier. Yeah, I ain't eighteen no more, so right. I can believe in monogamy. Hilarious. I think but monogamy then, when like, it's, e- it's of- easier for you. It's like doing all the other shit. Sometimes it's just too much. It's too much effort. It's too much work. We got too much going on. I barely like to leave the house now. I, right. I feel like monogamy should come with the marriage. Even though I would like to be monogamous. So you want to be in an open relationship until you get married. I just feel like there's mm-hmm. different stages of of dating, being in a relationship, and then getting married. It's different okay. stages of you're what are you get it what are you giving up once you put those papers in if herpes. What? <laughs> <laughs> you might have no, you, just, yeah, you might no, get like, in the situation with dormant. that. Then what? <laughs> <laughs> then you just stuck you with either. it, period. <laughs> no, but I mean, then the marriage come and then y'all just get hurt. You can't see yourself in a monogamous relationship now? No, I've, I've been in one. But what I'm saying but is... how long? What what's the, the longest? I'm not in one right now. But, but what's my the longest, longest was six, seven years. Six or two? seven, which is it? Two, yeah. Oh, you name the names. Six, I mean, she, she you know... <laughs> that's your, that's so what happened? That's our boo. Yeah, that's our boo. Um, open relationship, I get it. No, it wasn't open no, I'm relationship. No, <laughs> I'm joking. No, no, Ida, man, I've been trying with Ida for 15 years. No, 10, 15, no. Um, um, She's like, I bought you the drink, Ida. Right? <laughs> that's why, that's what I'm talking about. I know you didn't just go to the bathroom, Ida. <laughs> I know. She was talking about she was in the bathroom. She went to the bathroom. She went to the bathroom. Went to the bathroom. She went to the bathroom. Okay. She went to the bathroom. Okay. Like, I'm and I never came back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still in the bathroom right now. Okay, we- uh, <laughs> uh-uh. That's shade. I got so, a joke about it. You need her. to get with the hip. You need to get with what the happened? hip. Uh-huh. Tell us what happened. Is with it Tia? Uh, Tiara. <laughs> oh, does, Tiara. Does, does nobody? No, none of y'all have dated chicks before. Mm-mm. None of y'all. No. Nah. Gigi you, did, but she's not here today. I have sex girls, but I've never dated a girl. Well, yeah, sex. Yeah, dated, I've had sex whatever. Yeah, like, yeah, sex dating thing. is different. Yeah. Have you been with a girl ever? Yeah, I I'm have sure. before once. Yeah. She's just, I'm letting you know if there's course. any cards back there I just hooked y'all up with information uh, Shantae is fishing right now She don't care She's like anybody, anybody. Girl. anybody. She's trying to see which one of these bitches I'm going to holler at after the show I know her, look at her Which no, one of y'all not. likes to go to dinner? Uh, <laughs> which one of y'all likes to station and don't go nah, to the bathroom? Nah, we go to the club, fuck that Y'all I'm not going to uh, do that yeah, We go to the bathroom together, bitch <laughs> like, uh, We can go to the bathroom <laughs> I go to the bathroom. Oh, we going to the bathroom? Oh, okay. I gotta, I gotta go too. Let's me too. Like, Somebody has to stay at the table. Right. I gotta drag this bitch oh, to the bathroom with me. She be trying to walk in the wrong bathroom. I be like, you can't go in there. You ain't got no dick. Come on over here with us. That's not what the law says. Right, right. I know. Equal opportunity. No, <laughs> nah, I, I ain't ready for that equality like, yet. Slow down. I don't, don't want to see a dude with his dick so out what, in the dress. What happened? Six or seven years and then what? Uh, I, th- I think my career my career started to take off and there was a lot of concentration that I was trying to like put in towards that. Mm -hmm. And I'm very big on like, uh, you know, because we've been together so long and I I felt like this is the first girl, like I actually thought about marrying. Mm. And so for me, the whole for everything clicked in and I felt like there's time for me to build. Let me go get this money. I want to get a house. I want this. I want that. And then I, I can do all that spending time shit with you. But sometimes you're dealing with like relationships and they want you to spend time with them, but then they get mad that you don't have any money. And I'm just that person that like to go hard because I'm like, you're there and you know, I'm I'm coming back, I promise. Mm-hmm. No cheating, no anything like that, but I need to focus 
to get this money. Okay. So, yeah, I I think I stopped, you know, kind of, I, I stopped paying attention so much. I stopped spending time and doing all that uh, gay shit. And, and <laughs> I wanted, I, I started, I did a play. It was last year we broke up, but I came out here to do a play and I had to be out here for two months. Mm-hmm. And that just kind of like messed up everything. Aww. You yeah. still miss her? We we best friends still. Yeah, oh, okay. I still see her. We like. They, they came to my birthday party. Yeah, yeah. We love her. Yeah, uh, I like, hate I'll it. Probably get back together yeah. when shit is yeah, like at some point no, right on the track. I mean, nah. No. Uh, Look, everybody. You, saying, yeah. you say that, but everybody is like, nah, they probably still no, together. I've said that before she, she's too. She's a dope chick, but I, it's dope because we're still good friends. Right. And so I think the whole missing thing is not as serious because I get like I can call her right now and be like yo come see me does she want to be with you uh she's very like when I tell you she's so spiritual that it's almost like I don't know if I'm ready for that yet Mm -hmm. like I would have to there's no tv in her place there's a (laughs) I'm like I can't even watch Netflix I can't watch myself on Netflix I can't watch myself on Netflix (laughs) calls me for a sound bath yeah nah I don't watch tv anymore she is very though she's spiritual she'll she'll be texting me the sound bath yeah stuff. yeah, yeah she's very like Oh, yeah, that's different. Dumb. Yeah, she yeah. well, she helped me like let go of liquor when I first met her, and that's that was like our journey together mm-hmm. of being mm-hmm. soothing. Well, and now that she's gone, yeah. you got the mask out. <laughs> <laughs> I moved into a studio apartment with a view, and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> with a, I need a drink. <laughs> right. I need a drink. Do you think you would date, date people who are more like you or more opposite from you? You know what's funny? Um, I I've never met someone who was like me that I and now. The in the dating world, every every guy that I've ever been with is very different from me. I don't know if I could be with somebody who is like me because I need the and I need that calm energy to balance me. Mm-hmm. Um, and I just think that being with somebody like me, we we'd be like natural born killers. They don't crack. They don't, they hoeing like it, it just. <laughs> I need I need somebody that yeah. to be the calming. The, yeah, the that Rational. calming energy. Absolutely, that. Yeah, I'm too. I'm all over the place. I feel the same way. Like I can't. Like I feel like I I I'm good at conversing. Like I'm good at having a conversation, and I like to talk. But I don't like being with somebody who talks a lot. Mm-hmm. It drives me crazy. Like shut the fuck That's up. Funny. That's funny. I swear, because it feels like you're talking to another girl. Exactly. Right? Like, yeah. I'm, like I like for my man to be like me. I, I'm like I'm goofy, and I like making jokes, right. and and everything is funny to me. You know what I mean? Yeah. For me, I. I need a guy who's more serious and more like, all right, it wasn't that funny Batman. stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I can't be with somebody who wants to be running their mouth and and doing everything I'm doing, trying to get attention all the time. Like, yeah. I'm the one who gets the attention right, here. Right, right, Stephanie right. likes people who check her. She likes people to check her too. Yeah, and I like um, I like from my um, I'm I think I'm friendly and forgiving, even though of course. You, you know, everybody has their days when you're in a bad mood and mm-hmm. you might flip out on mm-hmm. somebody. But I'm re- I find I'm I'm really friendly and forgiving and, and loving. And I I can't be with a guy who's like that. Like I need to be with a guy who's more who's more mean. Like, like get off like, of me. Like, like no I, like I, exactly. Like, like, all right. and rage. like oh you talk to you want me to get on for I you. Need, I need to be with, I like being with a guy who's a little more mean than I am. I don't like that friendly shit. You like him to be mean to other people though, not to you. Yeah, I like him to be nice to me usually, but I need, I think I feel like um, it makes me love a guy more when he's not so, you know, open, like doesn't have, like, okay, you could do whatever you want. You could walk all over me. I don't like that. I like for a guy to have- asking her if she want to drink. Right. Just push her out the way and she'll come to her. <laughs> right. I, I just I like for I like for my like, guy to have more of a a stern <laughs> demeanor to him. I don't know if that's the right words that yeah, I'm looking yeah. for. It's a masculine energy. Yeah, I like exactly. I like a mm-hmm. macho manly man, mm-hmm. you know. Oh well, I like my man to cater to me. Mm-hmm. I, like I like that too. I like my guy that he's very sweet and you know. Anything no, I, I like need, that. I like that. Like whatever I say, he he'll, he'll always be like, "I agree." <laughs> no, I don't like that. We got no, we ain't got no choice. I enjoy I like that. that. No choice. I enjoy fight, that. Right? Yeah, you I'm like to be a boss. Shit. I don't want to be. Doesn't him. like to be wrong. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, but you know how I don't good like, it is. Even sometimes we agree with her when we know she's like, dead wrong. We be like, "Yeah, Angela." True. Because <laughs> if not, you're gonna be arguing all day. So right, you're like, "Fuck right, yes, you got it right on the head." Let you go. No, but you know how good it feels to have a guy who's kind of mean and a little bit of an ass. So the people rubbing on your feet and kissing on your forehead. Yeah. Yeah. Really nice. uh, it's really nice. Mm-hmm. 
really sweet. Woman of psycho. <laughs> like, kiss on your forehead. What? I don't so, know. I like someone that's like me. Touch my third eye. You know, yeah. he someone that's like, it up. Yeah, I like someone that's like me. Kiss. Like, I'm, like, I think because I'm a little bit mean. <laughs> So I do like people that are, I don't know, I like to laugh, joke, whatever. So I like somebody I can laugh and joke with that could get my jokes. That's like one of my main things. If I can't laugh and be happy and joke with you, I can't even, I would be but fucking miserable. Sometimes her jokes go too far. Does that ever happen to you Yeah, guys? my jokes go too far. A lot. Where your jokes go too far. I know it happens to you. I, I know. Yeah, yeah. Where your jokes go too <laughs> like, far and somebody far? gets offended and you hurt their feelings. That's me yeah. every day. Yeah. <laughs> you know what's funny is like, it's interesting because men feel like they can say whatever they want to they you. They do. But then when you do it back, you lose, it's like you're not you're feminine. The yeah, like this, I met this guy, right? And we were talking all the time, right? And I never, I didn't tell him about my kids because I'm paranoid about child molesters, yeah, right? Yeah. I don't tell people oh until I know God, if I can trust too. you, right? Yeah, they've so, been killing kids, and boyfriends, and all yeah. that. Child you child molesters? That's yeah. why I don't post my kid on the internet. No, I don't do that. So he heard my daughter speaking in the background when I was in the car, and he was like, he said, Who's that? I said, That's my daughter. He said, you got you got a kid? I said, I got kids. I got two. And he said, he was joking. He mm. said, when were you going to break the news to me? Mm. I said, did you call my kids news? Right, right, right. I said, look, right. I was planning to bring y'all all together, and I thought I was going to break the news to everybody at the same time. <laughs> I was going to tell you I had kids, and right. I was going to tell them I met another punk-ass bitch <laughs> dude in L.A. <laughs> Never you spoke to like me again. Joke. Oh, shit. <laughs> Not at That's something I would say. It was like, cause he, and it was like, you took it too far. I'm like, you called my kids news like they were HIV. <laughs> right? you were like, like, when you going to break the news? news. I, I thought you was right. Like, like, he was a bitch. I feel like kids and <laughs> said, and now are on the same DMs. line. Like you, it's like you need to know if somebody has kids. Because for a very long time, I wouldn't date somebody with kids, and it, right. it's not even because I love kids. I want kids, mm -hmm. but I feel like there's a whole other upbringing that I want to bring up a child in, or, mm -hmm. and and I can't discipline somebody else's kid, and I can't do those things. Not that I want to spank them or do anything like that, but you can't. But that's not that. That's I respect that. My kids are also my business, and they, I'm not looking for a daddy for my babies. Right. So when I'm dating somebody, you're dating me, you're not dating my children. Right, right, right. And yes, if we get into a real relationship, you have the right to know about my children. But I have a right to know who you are before I let you know who, that I have children. Because you could be on that watchdog list. That, you, you know what I mean? That, you you should have um, just Googled Google. you. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But, then, but, but then now, <laughs> but back then. So like, what if a dude got like 10 kids out there by different mm -hmm. baby mamas? And he don't tell and, you. And he don't tell Ten you. Baby find out later. You can tell a dude that got 10 babe kids from 10 baby Not mamas. You ain't got to tell you. My dad had 10, seven yeah. kids. <laughs> seven kids. How can you tell? I can't. What are some of the telltale yeah. signs? No, you, you, the you, fuck? They tricked look, me a few times. Usually you can tell when you're in, line, in tune with somebody. <laughs> You'll hear in I'll the probably, background. I'll I ain't got the money this month. <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck is that? My baby mom nah. and my, my kids. You, we all you live know together. them kind of dudes. Okay. You know, ain't no dude with no 10 got kids, the CEO of a corporation <laughs> at the four point. I ain't fucking with somebody who, who got that food stamp. Right, right. I feel like I feel like that's not true. I get the food stamp. I feel like that's not true. I feel like the, the people that got the most money, they can have the most kids and the most baby mamas. I feel like Donald Trump got mad baby mamas, right? Yeah, for sure. He definitely got like a black kid Puff. somewhere. Yeah, Puff got, like he got five baby mamas. Yeah. We got, yeah, so yeah. he's about to work on the sixth one. Future. future. But yeah. well, future. Future. Future's ridiculous. But listen, I, but listen he do look I, like he might we, have a bunch of baby mamas. Yeah, okay, uh, listen, them. I'm about to be I'm in trouble right now. <laughs> uh -oh. Please say it. I, it don't matter if Future got, you can tell Future got multiple baby right, mamas. Right. It's, right. it's, it depends Everybody on what you into. Grill. Got you can, five or more. No, you can tell. Like it's not. It's just about money or having a company or being puff. It's about a, a, of what ilk of the type of person that you're attracted to and what of what ilk they are. Like I know you. You know Emery. Emery does. Emery look like he got a bunch of baby mamas. No, but he corny though. I mean, corny in a good way. Uh -oh. But that's what I'm trying yeah, to tell yeah, you. It's like, like, you don't... Yeah, I, you don't she not, said, no, 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 I love, I love, no, 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 I love him. Emery, shout out to... You know I love you, bro. Uh, but what I mean is corny, you know like, he, he looked like he really love, you know, Ida and stuff like that. So I think he's just a, a good dude. Yeah, but it's like, it's, he, it's not just about he, he having a chick sitting on his lap. And I'm like... 
Emory, you love Ida. That's <laughs> Stop crazy. it. You a mess. I just think <laughs> where I come from, where all, all that cool shit and all that, he's a thug or he's a bad boy. That shit don't get you nothing but bad credit, right? Uh, right. UTIs <laughs> and struggle, like all that bad boy shit. That's a phase you should grow out of as a woman. But as I bad boys are, are the corny. I do think it's interesting what you said about not telling about your kids because I think if I was dating a guy. And he didn't tell me about his kids until like four months in. I probably wouldn't want to fuck with him no more because I would feel like, damn, you hid that from that me. But I'm to not me. gonna, I'm not gonna date somebody for four months who could, who I wouldn't tell about my, ki- it my kids. It lasted that long. I was, so how, I, wouldn't I was wait with a guy and I was, we were laying in the bed, oh, and Lord. this is when I was in college, and one, of, um, <laughs> he had like three other roommates right in this apartment building, and one of them walked in the room. And he was like, yo, you know, you were supposed to come here. It was some drug transaction that he <laughs> missed out on. And he was like, he was I told you I, He was like, you were supposed to come, but you went to go see your daughter instead. I was like, eh, daughter? And so his friend walked out. I was like, you didn't tell me you had a daughter? He's like, oh, well, you just seem kind of judgmental about dating what? somebody for kids. Oh, no, that's I was bad. in college. No, I'm not wow. going to trap somebody. How either. long did you wait to tell him? I, or I do had, you wait? I hadn't talked to, talk to him no more. Oh. I just had I had just met him. I only had been talking to him for like a week or two. Oh. It wasn't like I okay. got wrapped up in it, let him get wrapped up in it. I would never do that. Mm-hmm. But I, I still want to know who you are before I tell you I got a little girl at home. No, you I know what I mean? That. So that was Everybody's it. fake that's, in the beginning to some extent. Though. And I wasn't being you fake. Never, I was just No, no, no. But I'm saying everybody <laughs> has a slightly different personality. In a beginning relationship, whether it's you cook yeah. a lot whether when I nice. first start dating mm-hmm. you, and then all of a sudden you stop cooking. Yeah, I'm amazing nice, in the so. beginning. Yeah, me too. In I the beginning, so I'm glad you're honest. But if you would have asked me if I had kids, I would have told him yes. Yeah. I wouldn't be. I wouldn't have lied and said no. Nah, but he didn't ask. So he didn't even ask. Like, did he, he didn't ask kids? about your Y'all hear this, fellas? You don't even know. No, he didn't have. Oh, he y'all ain't got to tell them nothing about your business. You just take them out. I think I'm worse in the beginning. I I think I'm better once I'm in love. Like then you could get a lot more out of me. In the beginning, I required things like, oh no, we got to go on a date. I need some money. Oh, I'm you, oh, you, you know? up front in though? the beginning, right I'm in the beginning. I, I require shit. I'm like, I, I love it. you. It's like, okay, babe, you don't have to give me money anymore. I'm independent. Ah! I make all the money for both of us. I need you That's to do desperate. workshops because I I, 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 I need to know how to ask somebody. I've somebody. never asked nobody for money. How you doing? I mean, you I just, my nephew special. Give me I'm, some money. You just got. <laughs> you probably got to throw. What, like, well, y'all need to start acting like y'all got uh, startup businesses and then just use it to buy shoes. Yeah, tell them you're selling <laughs> hair baby, on. You know, I'm like into, uh, yeah, I'm about to, I'm about to start, start this braiding business, business and stuff UPS like that. Driver. You get some, <laughs> you get some startup money, but go buy your shit. You can't just be like, I want shoes. We can't tell. It's the worst with us. I, when I, before people would know who I was, not, not that I'm like Beyonce or anything, but now some people know who I am. Beyonce, but before, yay. I used That's to say I was Spanish. a UPS okay. driver <laughs> and then you get to see a, the reaction because a lot of men are groupies and a lot of men are yeah. materialistic. Right. That, yeah. But I would say I drive for UPS. And he'd be like, okay, so let's figure out how we get some of them packages. Yeah, he's like, yeah, the packages smell like weed. That's what I'd be thinking. Because <laughs> right, right. that's what I would say to you. We're going to get this money, girl, me and you together. Yeah. Some of them would be intrigued by that. Yeah, and then yeah. some would be like, nah, calling her back. Yeah. All right, so what are some things that are, have been done to you in the bedroom that you wouldn't do back? Like you expect whoever you're with to do this to you, but I wouldn't do it. I would have to say it has to be the opposite for me. Like what have I done? That, you that don't I don't want back, which is strap on. Okay. I don't really, I don't like penetration and stuff. I think, I think there's certain sexual things that I would try or do, but as sex has to be so amazing mm-hmm. and you have to allow me to direct you there. But I don't, no chick has strapped me down. Wow. You never yeah. even considered it? Not at all. I'll be the first. Okay. You, said, <laughs> you know what? I, I will, yo, I will <laughs> bet that shit. If That's I, I, if I have to uh, just follow you in the bathroom anymore, I will definitely. <laughs> we'll get nah. you a Molly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You Anything can, can happen. <laughs> Use the nah, even on Molly, I get uh, really. You would have to use something 
Like, <laughs> no. I just I just don't like it. I can I can come so many different ways that I don't I don't like the penetration. You know, you turned on the men and the women in the room when you said that. I Chopra did. Well, as, you know, yeah. listen, so many ways. The female side of me is going. You know, just in case, fellas, cash at me. Yeah. And, <laughs> <D-way> and, <laughs> and then the stud of me is like, y'all better not dare and do that. What shit. are the ways you can come? You said you can come so many. Oh, ways. so many ways. I mean, we come on. We know our vagina is very. This is what's funny because people always go. Like, how do you come off of dildos and, you know, it's not a real dick? They, You don't understand there's a suction that's on your clit. And so it's like, if you ever body rocked, if you ever, like, rubbed your oh, vagina so there on the pillow. Oh, there's a connection still. There's a connect. So it's like <laughs> yes. you're fucking the girl, but then you get to rub your clit on it. Mm-hmm. So you're you're basically doing that to your clit or like you're playing with yourself like that or whatever. Okay. You're basically. you're clitorally stimulated. Some women are. Well, I got a nice clit, too. Like, my shit. Kind of poke out, but not really. It'd be like peekaboo, kind of. Yeah, the clit's many penis. Yeah, you got to have a certain clit. Some women are penetration. I, I feel like fat, but fat pussies are great. And then also <laughs> if it stick out just a little bit. But if it's too much or. Too much roast beef. Too, yeah, if, yeah, if it's too much roast beef or is it, if it's too like thin, then it's I like, it'd be like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, now, what are some things that I, that you would let a guy do to you but you wouldn't do to him <laughs> you know it's funny this will be the only place anyone will ever hear me speak like this because I'm over there fighting for so politics for sure. I'm a progressive Bernie Sanders <laughs> and I'm like lick my ass yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll be like, way to go, boo. That's gonna come when you running for uh some I never heard Bernie Sanders move. and lick they my ass in the same Me sentence neither before. Until today. <laughs> Cheers. Oh man. <laughs> okay, so you would never do that. I, I don't know that I would never do it. I just know that I I don't feel inclined to do it. I I I'm a leader. Y'all <laughs> y'all on some following right. shit, right? Hey. Just because you do come some shit to me game, don't mean I'm gonna be like, all right, let me do it. What yeah, about yeah, sucking yeah. toes? Uh uh-uh. uh, mm. you gotta have good, good I ain't toes on that. Toes. Yeah. Um, I'm not, I'm not, I don't have that fetish. Now I have like some freak tendencies, and mm. my tendencies live in another world because I feel like I can be really dark and I'm very aggressive sexually. But when it comes to um, I don't like feet, period. Mm-hmm. So I agree with you. I ain't sucking no big fat ass like toes. Feet. Well, what does I dark like mean? She's a dominatrix. Oh, is that what I, it I is? can be, yeah, I can be very dominant. How do you know? Because you the way you said it, I could just tell what it was. <laughs> she said it's very dark and so like what choking the thing? What's the thing that you put in hog tie? Yeah, no, shit? I don't do that too. Cause I date black men and I ain't doing that. Oh, that's, you ain't hog tie no black nah, men. Nah, that's like some white <laughs> you boy shit. Yeah, yeah. Uh-uh. Yeah, that's it ain't been but 400 years. We can't do that right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, it's dangerous. It wasn't even that long. What about like spanking? Um, yeah, I've done the spanking stuff before. The problem is that that's such a that lives you know in they the got world. new moves now, right? <laughs> you all doing basic shit like this what's is a new move. Sorry, I didn't mean to no, cut you off. But they on some new move. What about rubbing the knee? What? Wait, <laughs> huh? there's a you whole other rubbing the knee earlier. There's just, just a whole like other sexual I don't feel thing that like happens anything. in life. Like what? Now. Like what? I don't know. I'm just What's saying. She going, she went you went from said to- it like you knew. You something. went from toes to what was the last thing you just spanking. spanking? No, I mean, I like. I'm very like when I'm in love. I'm very sexual and I'm very connected. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't have like all those uh, inhibitions when it comes to going there. You know, like mm-hmm. I'd be like spit in my mouth. Like I really <laughs> am sexual. Like, but um, I have a thing with feet. Uh, so that's why the toes things, and I I don't trust I ain't never trusted anybody enough to lick try and say I'm gonna lick his ass tonight. I don't yeah. trust you like that. Yeah. That's, that's a trust, trust issue. You don't trust nobody. <laughs> no. No, I think that. if you could suck a, a penis, then that's enough. you can lick an ass. As long as no it's no clean. no, I just think that's enough. No, I think like, if it's clean, you don't have to go to the butt. If it's clean, it's okay. Like fresh out the shower. Can't mm-hmm. just be like all day. Mm-hmm. Like, you gotta see him do it though. Cause yeah. sometimes suds just run down the butt crack. Oh, no, like, it's gross. clean. Just rinsed off. Like, yeah. right. <laughs> like, no. You gotta get up. Get in them there. wrinkles. <laughs> <laughs> I know somebody who got um that what's the the thing you get from feast is the the it's what? an infection not salmonella but whatever you got salmonella. not salmonella <laughs> salmonella hepatitis or something no it was the other one but it's it comes from unclean for it being in the food and it mm-hmm. was because we're so sad we don't know no, oh. yeah. e. coli. Oh, no, there was shit in the food 
No, he was licking ass. Oh, yeah. my, 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 Lick. my, my. my. Oh, shitty ass. See, that's wow. why you can't be just licking any old ass. Isn't that the Shate. rest of do lives in the Wow. Wow. It lives in the <laughs> tracks. Yes, yes, you know, yes, it lives yes. in that track. You got to be special for me to do that. <laughs> All right. Well, listen, I well, know it's a mistake. we got to get out the studio, but y'all got to answer the question, too. What would you um, say? I know that- this is basic as fuck, but <clears throat> excuse me. I um, I don't like I like a guy to lick my breast. I like a guy to suck on my nipples and I like to watch it. You know what I mean? But I don't really want to do that to a guy. Oh, like, yeah, yeah baby, suck my titty. That, you know, it's uh, funny. There's some, some dudes like, that do some like guys that. Like yeah. it, but that's not that sensation. Mm. It's weird. <laughs> yeah, isn't it weird? It's it's like, weird. I, but I like it a lot. Guys like, like, I like it a lot. Lick, but they don't like that. They like it. Because it's, uh, it's the same stimulation. Yeah. yeah. That's why they get If you thing. like it, he'll probably like it too. My homegirl, she was with this guy and he, she, he would want her to be playing with his nipple while she was sucking his dick. That's so arm up here, I'm in face down here. Goddamn, look at it. Like what the fuck, like, nigga? One thing at a time. It's like you right. exactly. doing tricep. She said he could not shit. come. Yeah. He could not come without her, like twerking on his nipple with her fingers mm-hmm. and sucking on. Did his he have dick. big titties? I don't know. I was like, I was just so weirded out. I was like, okay, next conversation. Who's gonna roll the blunt? Have you ever dated a guy with big titties? <laughs> I dated. I was with this one guy. <laughs> yes. Man boobs. This one had a funny nipple guy. You got a funny nipple guy, yeah, right? Yeah, with the eraser. Yeah, size exactly. I, was, I hated it. I was with this one I guy, and his. Him. I found like his nipples were really like Gross. soft, like really blandito, like they were really Blandi- soft. <laughs> like, <laughs> That's like so soft and unflattering. <laughs> exactly. It's exactly. Like, Blandito. That's uncooked soft. And what's yeah. funny about that is that he was one of those guys that likes to get his nipples licked. Uh-huh. And his you nipples are real soft. I did it and I was like, what if he was like, lick my soft <laughs> nipples? He's like, you want you that, like, you want that like frustration? Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> I know you're hungry after this. <laughs> Try to fake it with my finger. So wait, Adi, you dated a guy with big boobies? Yeah, I did. The big titty dude. And my fr- your friends are the worst. They're the ones that are unforgiving. And, you know, my friends would be like, I saw you went to Victoria's Secret. <laughs> did you pick up your boy, bro? No. You know, like, they would always do that to me. I did date somebody who had some titties. Was it something you thought about? Like, was it, was it, was it a turnoff? It was. It was. <laughs> Do you um, ever like play with them? Like no, nah, I was like keep them things. <laughs> Fun bag. <laughs> you have been horny all day, Angela. <laughs> what? You've been so horny <laughs> since this morning. No, first of all, you just was saying the wrong thing. <laughs> no, <laughs> what? You Tell was us. no. I'm talking about from this morning yes, to I'm now. Just, when she did, you did the Breakfast Club and she I just was talking about been talking, that's why she mentioned the ass thing because <laughs> oh. she just been. I didn't mention it. You, you did. brought it up. You was like, like looking ass and then looked at me like. <laughs> <laughs> You're feeling guilty right now, are you? Me? Look. <laughs> no, we talked about it, but I'm just saying. Like, they call her Shantae the ass eater. Wow. Is that your wow. name? Wow. You didn't introduce yourself wow. to that. I think you owe me a bathroom break for that, Angela. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I didn't know about this. <laughs> I said only two, three dudes, uh, two, yeah. two, three girls. Whoa. 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 That's what going viral. Going That's going viral. The <laughs> truth is coming out with this. Two, three count. dude girls. Okay. Uh, she no. jumped two, back out the girls. closet. I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right. When I so was 14, I was molested. <laughs> you've been lying to us I this whole time. I know, the whole time. This is just a phase I knew it was going to take my career <laughs> to a whole new level. She going to uh, see so, Aisha Curry and Steve break up. Uh-oh. Oh well, listen. I do have. Uh, well, I did like Boris Kojo until he dissed me. Um, he dissed you. What he happened? He dissed me, girl. I walked on set. <laughs> <laughs> I walked on set, and I was like, "Yo, there's gonna be mad chicks on set today." And he was there, and all of a sudden, all my feminine came out of me, and I started crossing my legs. I, tried to, I was like, "You want some tea?" I was like, "I had a hoodie on, so I was trying to pull down my shirt a little bit." And he was like, what is wrong with you? I was like, yo, you don't see none of this sex in me? <laughs> I was trying to do, I was trying to tie up my hoodie and shit. I was like, nothing. He no, 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 no. I remember but when you no, told remember? me. Remember? And then I, and, and all the people on set, this one was on Marlon's uh, set, it was Brisha and Essence, and they was like, girl, just go get him, just go get him. So I walked in the makeup and hair, and I was like, 
I'm trying to be so feminine. I said, hey, yo, Boris. No, that's you fine work. as fuck. <laughs> you said that? I said, I said, you fine. They recorded it. They was like, you fine as fuck. And I was like, if you ever, you know, that light-skinned chick you with, <laughs> you anything white. ever happened? And he was like, he said, okay. And I was like, you know, I don't even like you no more. Because he said, okay. Yeah, he did. He, he dismissed her, though. It I didn't get a picture her. or nothing. I was like, well, He's boring you. anyway. You yeah, need somebody a little more wild. He was like, well, security. Uh, Chris Brown. Yeah, that would be perfect I like Bruno. For you. I think Bruno's Bruno Mars. Hot. Yeah, Bruno Mars. But okay. I heard he's really little. Yeah, he's. I heard he's really little too. <laughs> heard he's the size Y'all of this can't Moscow see. bottle. Y'all be like, I heard he's really little. You ain't never seen no, him. No, because they always got angles like his. And he's like, put your. It's a, it's a, it's a, <laughs> he's a little shorty. He's a little shorty. He always <laughs> look really Just tall. look at the like, atmosphere, whatever he's around, and you can rate his height. From I don't that. know. He but hires you, all other Oompa Loompas. Your he's type all, of guy is like all over the place. I know. It's like, he went from Bruno, Bruno to, to the Bruno Mars. <laughs> oh, I, like, I probably like pretty dudes because they still kind of like. Like girl, girl, in a way, yeah. but they like, yeah, they like, you're Boris right. is very yeah. like, you like you. Bitch. you a bitch, you was a bitch. <laughs> you was a bitch. <laughs> I like bitch niggas, yeah. oh, bitch. I, do. Uh, yeah. I like boys. Sorry, like. studs, I was trying to represent y'all, and I had a little Moscow, and this shit just went crazy. <laughs> That's why they be outraged with you. They be like, you not a, what kind of thing? You be not all on? in the goddamn uh, what you she be forgetting the letters. They gonna she be hate like, me? I'm the LGB, uh, LG, hey, what's the rest? I grew up in the 80s. I'm tired of this shit. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Well, listen, I just want to say I do appreciate y'all for coming. This was a good time. We got to do it again. I wish we had five hours. That was so fun. So so funny. So cool. Uh, Anytime we want to. Okay. What? What, Shante? Anytime you want to go to the bathroom with her, just let her know. I was about to say, anytime. I'm, I'm I just love y'all have up. totally different bathroom <laughs> stories. I was hiding, <laughs> standing on the seat. It's the beauty about being a stud. You can uh, do dude shit, but still go do woman stuff too. <laughs> All right. Gotta love it. Well, that's lip service. And where can people find y'all? So I'm at Funny Ida, A-I-D-A, on uh, Instagram and Twitter. And then on Facebook, it's Ida.Rodriguez. And that's where most people show I got up. you, Dan. <laughs> and uh, I just almost choked on the icicle, but um, that's you can not find an icicle, all my stuff. That's a piece of ice. Yeah, I'm like, where's the icicles? <laughs> I'll take one. Yes. <laughs> Yo, y'all are really disrespectful to me right now. Like y'all what? been, Where y'all been high? really rude to me lately. <laughs> really? Um, I heard you say ice school. I knew what you meant, girl. No Thank problem. You. I, I got you. You, you and me. Y'all too. Never again. I was like, it's not that cold um, in here. No, no. <laughs> like in the ceiling. <laughs> Gonna fall. You oh, know what? You funny Ida. Dot com. So. <laughs> Shante can't Thank get you. her life I'm together. I'm trying to. Every everything I got is at C Wayans. My uh my website is C Wayans. Dot com. And September 26, I'm out here in New York City doing Gotham. When y'all airing this? Oh, I'm coming. My mom is. That's my mom's birthday. I should bring her. You let me know. Yeah. I, uh, uh, how old is your mom? I don't want. How old is your mom? I don't know your mom. I think she's old enough to get in. She's going to try to holler at your mom. I don't think she's going to want to come to my show. I might lose all. No, her mom is mad cool. Okay. Let me know. I got you on tickets. My mom will be crying. Yeah, my mom's knee was hurting and Shantae was like, can I help you Well, you know I know how to get in with the moms. She was like, my mom fell I know how to get in with the moms because if you get in the moms or the kids or even the dogs, you good to go. All right. And don't forget, lift service. We have our tour, which is kicking off in. Is it kicking off in Philly or New York? In Philly on the twentieth. Philly. Yes. So we're gonna be all over. We're gonna be in Detroit. We'll be in San Francisco, LA, DC. Um, so, trying to think where else Chicago, Chicago Detroit, Chicago. Atlanta. Yeah, so make sure you guys check that because the service Dallas. is coming to a town near you. I yeah. want tickets for that. Yeah, you better come. Oh, I want to go. Yeah. Oh, hopefully are y'all, y'all are. We'll be in yeah. LA. Yes. When? You don't know? Okay. We'll I do know. And we'll, the 28th will be in uh, Indiana, Bloomington, Indiana. Me, Shantae, oh, yeah, Tiffany Haddish. April, Macy with Tiffany yeah, on with her Tiffany show. show. So. All right, Love perfect. you, Tiff. Oh, we Tiffany love you, C. Tiffany Haddish. All right, that is lip service. <laughs>